design, temperature, and pressure specifications for the pressure vacuum breaker. The check valve and air on the valve are independently acting. The check valve is spring-loaded closed. The spring shall be a minimum of 1 PSI. The air on the valve is spring-loaded open. The spring shall be a minimum of 1 PSI as well. Inlet pressure keeps the air inlet closed. The air inlet valve is located downstream of the check valve. It is designed to open when the internal pressure is 1 PSI above atmospheric pressure. The air inlet valve does not rely upon gravity to open. The loaded air inlet and check valve seat disc are comprised of silicone elastomer rubber, which is resilient to heat, shock, and chemical attack. The silicone elastomer disc float and check valve are suitable for temperatures up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. The maximum working pressure of a pressure vacuum breaker is 150 PSI and the minimum working pressure is 15 PSI. Because the pressure vacuum breaker cannot be subjected to back pressure, it shall be installed at least 12 inches above the highest point in the system. Pressure vacuum breaker out of the box. When you take the pressure vacuum breaker out of the box, the check valve is closed and the air inlet valve is open. What is keeping the check valve closed and the air inlet valve open? The springs. The pressure vacuum breaker in a static state. The upstream shut off valve is open and the line or inlet pressure is positive. The downstream shut off valve is closed drip tight thus creating a no flow condition or static state within the pressure vacuum breaker. In a static state, the air inlet valve is held closed by the inlet pressure and the check valve is closed as a result of the spring. The pressure on the outlet side of the check valve is less than the pressure on the inlet side of the check valve due to the spring load. If there are no shut off valve downstream of the downstream shut off valve, the pressure in the downstream piping would be atmospheric. In a flow condition or dynamic state, with a downstream demand, the check valve is open and the air inlet valve is closed. The check valve is opened and the air inlet valve is closed as a result of supply or inlet pressure. During a flow condition, there is a pressure loss through the pressure vacuum breaker. The greater the flow rate, the greater the pressure loss. The outlet pressure is less than the inlet pressure. The check valve and air inlet valve springs generate some of the loss in pressure. The inlet or upstream shut-off valve is closed and the system pressure is positive. The pressure vacuum breaker is in a static state. If the downstream valve is open and there are no other valves closed downstream, the downstream pressure is atmospheric. The pressure downstream of the check valve and upstream of the air inlet valve are atmospheric as well. Since the pressure within the pressure vacuum breaker is atmospheric, the check valve will close and the air inlet will open with the assistance of the respective springs. Atmospheric pressure will enter the pressure vacuum breaker through the cover as the air inlet valve is open. If there are closed downstream valves, the air inlet valve will remain closed. The pressure vacuum breaker and back siphonage. The inlet or upstream water system feeding the pressure vacuum breaker is subatmospheric and a back siphonage situation is occurring. The check valve with the assistance of the spring closes drip tight. The pressure vacuum breaker is providing protection since the check valve is holding tight. If there are closed downstream valves, the air inlet valve will be held closed by the static water pressure within the body of the pressure vacuum breaker. The air inlet valve will open to the atmosphere with the assistance of the spring if the downstream valve is open and there are no closed downstream valves. The pressure vacuum breaker and back siphonage. A back siphonage condition created a negative pressure within the potable water system connected to the pressure vacuum breaker. The check valve closed when the back siphonage transpired but did not close drip tight due to a disc or seat failure. The failure caused the pressure downstream of the check valve to drop to subatmospheric pressure. Since the pressure upstream of the air inlet valve was subatmospheric, the air inlet valve opened with the assistance of the spring. 
The air inlet valve requires positive water pressure to keep it closed. The pressure vacuum breaker is providing protection to the potable water system, since the air inlet valve opened allowing atmospheric pressure to be introduced through the air inlet valve port, breaking the siphon action created by the back siphonage condition. The pressure vacuum breaker and back siphonage A back siphonage condition created a negative pressure within the potable water system connected to the pressure vacuum breaker. The check valve did not close when the back siphonage transpired due to an obstruction. Since the check valve did not close, the pressure downstream of the check valve is subatmospheric. Because the pressure upstream of the air inlet valve was subatmospheric, the air inlet valve opened with the assistance of the spring. The air inlet valve requires positive water pressure to keep it closed. The pressure vacuum breaker is providing protection to the potable water system, since the air inlet valve opened allowing atmospheric pressure to be introduced through the air inlet valve, breaking the siphon action created by the back siphonage condition. The pressure vacuum breaker and back siphonage. A back siphonage condition created a negative pressure within the potable water system connected to the pressure vacuum breaker. The check valve did not close when the back siphonage transpired, due to an obstruction. The air inlet valve did not open. It is stuck in the closed position due to the fact that it was under continuous pressure for a long period of time. Since the air inlet valve was stuck closed, atmospheric pressure could not enter through the air inlet valve opening. The siphon action was not disrupted and a cross connection is occurring. Non-potable water is now entering the potable water system. The pressure vacuum breaker is not providing protection to the public water system, since both the check valve and air inlet valve are not functioning correctly. The pressure vacuum breaker is a mechanical backflow prevention device and it is susceptible to failure. Consequently, it shall be tested at least annually to determine if it is operating properly. A functioning pressure vacuum breaker protects the potable water system and consumers of the drinking water.